on this doggone thing. Greg Cock here, behind the Cheddar Curtain in beautiful Wisconsin, my home community here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, my home town. And uh, I've been hanging with some buddies of mine who have created their hometown guys themselves, and they've created some guitars and amps that are magnificent. Right now, we'd like to talk about this Blue Fire KR35 amplifier. Also, this guitar is also a Wisconsin product from my buddy Rick Land at Landry Guitars. The Chief, as it's called. Come. And uh, this particular amplifier is glorious. Well, first of all, it's blue. Uh, and I think that's important. It actually matches the guitar pretty well. That's kind of, a, kind of a sexy little matching kit. But what I like about amps is I like the option to be able to go straight into the amp and work all the colors of the rainbow with just my grubby little mitts and the volume controls of the guitar. I also like the option to run them just clean and hit a pedal on top of it and have them sound glorious. We can do that with this amp as well, which we will do later. But in other videos, but stay tuned. For now, I just want to show you the glories of this particular amp with just the guitar straight into this rascal. Uh, it runs on uh, four EL84 tubes. Uh, we're able to run about 35 watts or about 15-ish, uh, somewhere in that realm, if it's a half power switch, as I said. Um, there's a high gain and a low gain, um, and I need a little row gain, but we won't get into that because you know what? Age is hurtful. But anyway, um, I'm basically running it on full power, and uh, I've got the EQ pretty well flat, as well as the Brilliance, which of course is a presence control. I got the Master at about, uh, I don't know, 11 o'clock-ish. I've got uh, the low gain on 12, and maybe the high gain on about uh, 2 o'clock. And that allows me to get a nice throaty overdrive. Here's the thing, this is my own opinion about amplifiers. It's easy to get a super saturated, distorted tone. Anyone can do that. Well, not anyone. but. You get a super saturated, distorted tone, you turn the volume down on the guitar, it gets all kind of mid-rangey and unusable. And that's not the way I like to roll. If I get an amplifier that can get a nice, throaty, natural overdrive with good compression, and then turn the volume down and get a nice, meaty, clean sound that's very usable, then I'm happier than a pig and squalor. And I like to roll with the swine, if you know what I'm saying. What? So right now, um, and this guitar is humbuckers, are glorious, kind of underwound humbuckers, which is the only way to roll. But what, be that as it may. Um, you can hear that on the treble pickup, well, especially that opening salvo, but it's very touch sensitive. So you get that nice bell-like clarity. All that kind of three-dimensional glory. Turn the volume up a little bit, gets meat. Cleans up all nice and juicy on the bridge pickup. I get that chicken picking clarity with a humbucker. Uh, just turning the volume down on the guitar. And then turn it out. I could play this doggone guitar and amplifier and I'd be satisfied as a Schweinhund. I don't even know what that means. Sounds German for pig. Probably not. It probably means like bathroom or something. I don't know. But here's the thing. Wisconsin is a bold place where guitar players lurk with great power and savagery and also creators of glorious guitar utensils. So dig it, listener. You just heard the KR35 from Blue Fire. You can go to bluefireamps.com. Dave Robrecht is the man 
who has created this device. This isn't a Me Too device. You know what I mean by Me Too? It's not something, oh, I think I'll make my own little AC-30 and put it out and make it blue and call it Flames of Blueness. This is not what this is at all. This is his own creation. We're all standing on the shoulders of giants, mind you, but when you stand on top, do something different, will you? And that's what he's done with this thing. Dig it today. Greg Koch, adios! Thank <laughs> you.